we're in South Africa at Nduna Hunting Safaris with a 357 Benjamin Rogue. Now we've seen how it performs on rabbits and jennet and mountain rebuck, but this morning we're after something a little bit bigger. Today we're going for Impala. Anduna's landscape is rich in game. Of course this makes for great hunting, but it can also make stalking up close very difficult indeed. You've not just got to concern yourself with the eyes and ears of your quarry, but also any other animals in the vicinity. Here we have a group of red lechwe, who are clearly not happy we're here. A quick change in the wind, and they head for the hills, taking our impala with them. We can see there's a beautiful impala ram with the herd, but getting in close is going to be tricky. Gavin edges us as close as possible, but the buck knows something is up. He's uncomfortable, you can hear there, but it still doesn't know. We are. Uh, we know we are. Uh, it just hasn't identified us. Uh. We decide to head around the valley and come in from a different angle. There's plenty of thick bush giving us enough cover to stalk in, but we need to be very careful the wind doesn't catch us out. If they see us, or catch a whiff of us, they'll be gone. As we edge ever closer to the Impala, there's the potential for a shot. But before I can take it, they're off. Again we've managed to spook them, and our chances may well have been blown. We find ourselves another vantage point across the valley from the Impala. As the bulk of the herd make their way up the hill, our buck must surely follow them into the open. As soon as he steps out from the bush, I'll have a perfectly clean shot. This surely must be my chance. Unbelievably, our buck doesn't follow the other Impala, and we've waited long enough. He doesn't want to play ball and step into our trap, so we're going to have to go and look for him. Where is it? I did that bush there. Oh, yeah, I can see it there. Let's see if we can go a little bit higher. Unusually for such a big buck, he's decided to hang back alone and stands half hidden by a small bush. He thinks he's using the bush to his advantage, but it is us who will benefit. We stalk him from behind him and edge closer than we've managed to so far today. The thick bush just below him covers the track we're using as our path. He remains totally unaware of us. Gavin guides me into a great position for a shot. Slowly and very, very quietly, I take up my position and line up my ram. Everything is going perfectly. I felt I'd made a good shot, but he still manages to make a run for it. Although clearly he's hit hard. So Gavin, that, that was some stalk. We got within 25 yards and it sounded like the shot was good. Yeah, and it was a good solid thump. I mean, the button, no, we were there at all. Yeah. Uh, that was one of, but a great stalk, okay. The one was in our favour, it was in our face. I mean... For the first time perfect, this week. Perfect, Well, at first I thought it's going to come around in the valley, come upwards. And luckily for the chance it worked for us for yeah. the change. Okay, that's it. So, obviously we've, we've hit it, we've hit it well. Yeah. Now we're leaving it. Yeah, I just think, you know, it, it, I, I take a panel, this is the same as with like a, a bow, let it just relax, you don't want to get adrenaline going in it, yeah. then it can go forever if it was a bad shot. But with a thump, I think we're going to find it within 30 yards. Yeah. Where it's gonna... We give the ram some time to settle down, and then we follow him up. I'm poised to fire off another shot if needs be. The last thing we want is an angry impala charging us with his long pointy horns. 
Never underestimate a wounded animal. We carve our way through the thick bushes in search of our ram. Then Gavin gives me a shout. The ram is making his way up the hill on the other side of these bushes. I drop him with a full frontal shot and he isn't moving any further. The 145 grain Benjamin Extreme bullet drops him straight on the spot. We move in carefully and he's still in his final moments. We give our ram the dignity of passing peacefully and then we step in to examine our prize. What a day, what a stalk, and what a result for the Benjamin Rogue. Yeah. Well, this is just yeah. incredible. Uh, this is the buck, obviously, that you saw that we shot. I thought the shot was better than this. This is a little bit far back. Um, it ran on for probably for about 200 yards, and then it came up through the valley beneath us. We just came over the top of the hill, and luckily, as we're coming through, uh, it just appeared in front of us. What, about 40 yards? Yep. So, I had a frontal shot here in the neck. We exited behind the other shoulder, taking out oh, definitely his heart and lungs, and it just dropped straight on the spot. So, a phenomenal uh, trophy and pile of buck. Uh, I think, I believe it's the first for the Benjamin Rogue. Uh, and it's, a, it's just, well, what an experience, man. It's absolutely incredible. What a hunt. And even at that distance, Gavin, the penetration still doesn't fail to astound me. And it's, it's, I can tell you, it really it astonishes me, the, the penetration that this uh, rifle's got, being an air rifle. Yet another successful hunter and Duna hunting safaris in South Africa's East Cape. If you'd like to find out more about the Benjamin Rogue 357 air rifle, visit crosman.com. Be sure to subscribe to Team Wild TV and see just how well the awesome Benjamin Rogue performs in Africa.